Just for a second, I want you to imagine something. Imagine that you're 70 years old and because of a condition you were born with, you find yourself unable to efficiently communicate both verbally and non-verbally with those around you. The emotions you see on others are foreign and the touch from others seems unnatural. You're scared. Now it's more likely you're terrified. Then you're introduced to a big cuddly dog, your dog. You seem to make a social connection with him more easily than with humans. He communicates his intentions in a way easily understandable to you. He will act as an icebreaker, helping you to function better and engage in social interactions with people. Now you're not so scared. Things might not be perfect, but maybe, just maybe, things are going to be alright, especially since your new friend is going to be by your side. Smart Pups is a not-for-profit charity that receives no government funding. Therefore, we need as much support and help as we can get. We are very grateful to have the Burrillan Training and Correctional Centre as part of our partnership. It enables us to have our pups housed and cared for, in particular in their early months of their training. Burrillan's main ethos is trying to be a training correctional centre where the prisoners are given lots of opportunities in lots of different industries. Knowing the benefits that a puppy program can provide to the prisoners, I really wanted to make sure that we were able to have one in Burrillan. All the dogs we train are going to be used to help somebody. For example, children with autism, epilepsy, diabetes and their families. That feeling gets you right here. We're providing dogs for individuals who need them. That's the best part. At a time when offenders are increasingly banished by the public and sentiment towards prisons is low, a program like Smart Pups provides one of the few opportunities for bridging the gap between us and the community, to link to the community in a positive way. Similarly, programs like this are in fact one of the only ways for us to feel that we can somehow redress some of the damage our behaviour has caused. You can see the benefits of having the puppies down in residential. It seems to have calmed the atmosphere in residential. You've also been able to see the shift in the prisoners who've been on the program from the start to six months down the track, how their attitudes have changed, how they're able to communicate more clearly towards staff. One of the best benefits that Smart Pups has to having the program in the jail is that the prisoners are with the dogs 24-7 so they have all that time to train all the task bases that the puppies are going to require later on in life. It's a little more difficult if they were out in the community with a foster carer who has to go to work as well to try and fit that training in as round. So what we find with the puppies that are coming through the prison program is that their task based skills are very, very strong. Task-based skills include uh, being able to nuzzle, being able to lay on someone's lap if they're upset, coming over the top of someone's lap and applying pressure for examples of an autistic child to help them feel more grounded, uh, teaching them to touch, to be able to pull off articles of clothing, to be able to go to a cupboard and collect an article and then bring it back to the handler who might be in a wheelchair. The prisoners have been teaching all of this along with all the basics of sits and downs and walking on lead and staying where you are and coming when called. We don't just train these puppies, our experience of these dogs is that they provide us with love, affection, entertainment and companionship. Additionally, because of our separation from loved ones, they offer us emotional support vital for thriving. This program increases our self-esteem, self-confidence, dedication and respect.